the ground will move, the isolators will move with the ground, and it minimizes the amount of energy that goes up the building. So the ground may be shaking severely, but it'll be less shaking in the building because those isolators will take up will take up that energy. So you see, the building won't be moving as much as the isolators are. It's a hospital structure, but it's it's a good lesson for all high-rise buildings. How these buildings are going to respond during dearth, different earthquake loads, what things get damaged, what things don't get damaged, and the objective here is to minimize the damage so people can get back to work in their buildings. It's a recovery issue, really. The greatest issue here is recovery. Minimize the damage and get our people back back in their jobs in a safe structure. From this event, from lessons learned, we'll then maybe change our codes, make suggestions, recommendations on how building owners can make their buildings safer and make the people in those buildings safer and get them back to work sooner. And you'll see these earthquakes in all these countries affected their economies because they have so many buildings that have been damaged and the essential facilities as well. So the issue here is how to, how to cost effectively retrofit those buildings, retrofit them or tear them down over time, right? And if our economy is so bad, we don't want to do something that's going to drive the building owner away, make them walk away from the building. So we've talked about mandates, but man mandates aren't going to work in this economy now. So we're trying to figure out ways to help those building owners and local governments address this problem.